but I just had a fella drop in and he's doing up a car anyway he's got these weird looking engine mounts he said they come with the car I don't know whether we I don't know the story behind the car of where he got it or what the story is behind it but the engine mount to come with apparently there's a rubber block there's a plate that goes on top and these go down through the top and hold it on. But they're brass. And I just don't get that. Well, he's already snapped one. So he's asked if I can make some stronger ones. I don't know what the story is and why they'd be brass. It's a bit confusing. But they're just a 10 by 1.5 thread down the guts. So I've got some 4140. Don't think you'll bust them in a hurry. Anyway, got two of these to build. Let's get into it. We want to turn it down to the major diameter of that hex. So it's just over 18 mil. I'm not concerned about that finish because I'm going to re put the hex on the major diameter and this is going to be reduced down more once I put the 10 by 1.5 thread up the so. side. I'm using this Hankster for Super All Tap. I really like this stuff. It is good stuff. It doesn't fall off. It's, it's thick. I've already put some on here obviously, but it is, it's thick and it don't fall off. Okay, I've got to turn this shank down now, and I'll use a TNMG insert for that one, because we want a nice finish. So I'm going to reduce this down here to 12 millimeters for 15 mil long. That should be 12 mil, 7.96, overshot of a fraction. It ain't gonna hurt. I'm going to part this off now. Stick it in the middle and do it and put, it down, put the hex on. Thread went all the way to the end, which is good. But we wanted, just got it. I face that off. And, uh, that one's three parts done. That'll work. Do you have a hex on it? So what I might do is set up the camera and just time lapse the second one from start to finish. So yeah, that comes out.
There we go. There's two of them. Take it out of the mill, set it up in a collar block, and put the hex on. Okay, we've got a touch off. I've worked out we've got to take a 43 thou cut on each side. That'll give us our 16 mil hex. So, I know you guys must get pretty cheesed off with me working Imperial and metric, but that's just the way it is. Sloppy as the last one was. Just needs to go back in the lathe and get that end trim back. Just put a little chamfer on that inside edge. better fit I just knocked it back a fair down a half the depth so that'll do uh, I'm just going to clean up this back edge here well I can give old mate a ring now and he can come and grab these and um, keep working on his car so done and dusted Simple easy job, I know it wasn't much, yeah, probably wasn't very video worthy, but anyway it is what it is. I just had a parcel delivered by the courier from Life Tools. Um, haven't ordered anything. Mentos. Lots of Mentos. More Mentos. <laughs> Lots of Mentos. At the banner. <laughs> You're joking. <laughs> Check that out. I've got long enough arms. Um, I'm going to have to set this up somewhere else. <laughs> so I can show you. I've um, got long enough arms here. Wow, how cool is this? That is absolutely fantastic. <laughs> okay, I'll get this... Um, I'll get this unrolled and... I may even hang it up actually, so I can show you because I haven't got long enough arms to hold it by the... It's fairly long. 
Okay, I'll be back. How cool is that? A massive thanks to Live Tools. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this to turn up, I tell you. Um, that's bloody unbelievable. I am absolutely stoked with that. So Toby and I got it hung up here. And um, unreal. I never ever honestly thought I'd see my name on a banner. <laughs> so massive thanks to Live Tools, Arthur and the team up there. Um, yeah, as you know, I've been using their inserts and their coolants and whey oils and that, and I'm really, really impressed. So thank you very much, guys. I really, really appreciate that. That is phenomenal. Well, I am absolutely over the moon with that banner, and I can't thank Live Tools enough for, for sending that and getting it made. And yeah, it's absolutely brilliant. And I've got a month's worth of Mentos down too. And they're not bad. There's a couple short. So the main tab sort of got stuck in them a bit. A um, bit more on a workshop update is the radial arm drill. The Serbian radial arm drill. I spoke to Matt from Man Cave Engineering, the fella I got it off her. Um, I've passed it on to a fella up in Bega. Um, the issue I had is I don't have three phase here and the motors on that radial arm drill couldn't be run off a of VFD. Now for me to get a phase converter was three grand. I was looking at to buy a phase changer. So I can't justify three grand to run one machine. Even though later on I could buy more three phase machines. For the for the time being I, I'm not in the financial position to do it. Um, I am looking at updating the mills to a Bridgeport style, which I'm more I'm I'm better off doing that than buying a phase changer. So, um, I'm on the lookout for, for a decent Bridgeport style mill. So, there's been a few jobs that I've had to knock back because I never had the Z height um, and the little mill hasn't got the rigidity for the jobs I wanted to do. So, as you know, in that last job I done on that excavator hitch and stick, I didn't have enough head height to bore it. So I told the wife that I need another mill and she actually believed me. So she's, she's up for the idea of getting a bigger one. So it's worked a treat. So that's what's happening there. And um, I received the parts from Aaron Engineering today um, for the, I'm gonna make a hand winch. Um, Aaron CNC'd some parts for the hand winch. Um, I've got to order a couple of gear cutters to do it, some modular gear cutters, so I'll get that done the next couple of days and get them on the order and then I can get into making that hand winch. So that's about all we got for this week. Um, I'm just over the moon with that banner. That is absolutely bloody awesome. I just, I'm stoked. I'd never ever thought I'd ever see my name up on a banner. So thank you very much, Arthur, and all the team up there at Live Tools. Anyway, I hope you have a great week. I'm going away. Me and the eldest boy, Trent, are heading away tomorrow. Uh, we're doing a bit of a four-wheel drive trip with another, oh, with his mate, and another four families. We're going up to the McKillop's Bridge. Uh, so, yeah, if you want to Google McKillop's Bridge, have a look. Bit of an iconic bridge. And... Um, and I've got to go to Sydney next week, take the missus up to Sydney to the hospital up there. So anyway, that's what we're doing. Have a great week, everybody. And hopefully I'll get a video out next week, but no promises. Yeah, got a bit on. Anyway, see you later.